Welcome back champions. Today I want to show you guys how to fix this annoying stick drift problem. You know when your character starts moving on its own and just, you know, not playing ball anyway. So I'll show you three or four methods on how to fix that. And if you're enjoying my videos, please hit that subscribe button. Help support the channel. Aside from that, you will want to get access to this joystick module. To do so, I've got a link to a video in the description or up in the top right corner. But moving on, step one. Gonna wanna grab yourself just a straight out toothbrush. Make sure he's clean, because you don't want to be adding more dirt and grime and grotties back into this. But just give it a good brush over. It's um, probably the easiest thing you could do to start to improve this thing, because they collect up dirt, grime, skin cells, all sorts of stuff over the over the years that you're playing these. And uh, that, that can get in the way of the sensors and start to make problems for you. Air Duster would be your next trick. Give that a good blowout, nothing too crazy. And you'll find that that's step one. If you don't want to go too far, give that a shot first and just see if that gives you some improvement. Step two, if that's not working, you've got a little plastic clip here you'll see. Now, not a good idea to remove it, but if you're desperate and you're looking at replacing your controller, why not? So get a little flat bladed screwdriver and you can see I'm just wedging it in here. Probably not the greatest angle for you guys, but you try and do this on camera, hey? Anyway, you can see I've got this wedged in here pushing against itself there. I don't really don't know how to describe this, I'm sorry, but we're giving it a crack. Anyway, pushing, 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 push, your mother had to, but anyway, maybe too far for YouTube, sorry guys. Anyway, keep pushing, and eventually that thing's gonna bloom and pop off, I'll tell ya. There we go, off she goes. Now, it, it, it looks like a lot of effort, but it's not. I've actually tried to preserve that so I could put it back on at the end. I didn't need to remove that. But anyway, you can see she still moves freely, when you push it down though, it can move around a little bit extra. So yeah, only if you're looking at actually throwing the controller out. Anyway, bit of air duster again, and that's step two. Step three, little bit more advanced. We wanna grab the isopropyl alcohol, give it a good squirt over, and uh, make sure the alcohol goes right down into everything. Make sure the bristles go right down into the joystick module. You wanna get all, all down into there, everything, all the bits and pieces. A uh, bit more alcohol and then get get your finger, get the joystick module and give it a good wiggle round. Really work that alcohol right down into there and then give it a good few minutes to dry, put him back together, give it another test. If that doesn't work, we've got step four. This one here is a pain in the butt and you really don't want to have to do it, but give it a crack if you can. You've got the little uh, casing modules here that hide the actual sensors themselves. So this is what we've been trying to clean the whole time but avoid touching. Now, if, if you have to, you can buy replacements of these. I'll put a link below. And you can get these little sensor things. Just replace these over, how I'm showing you here. Again, you want to avoid doing it if you can though. Absolute pain in the butt, but it is easier than replacing the entire joystick module. For that, you have to actually desolder them and resolder them. Not something I'm going to show you on video today. Put a comment below if you do want to see it though. Aside from that, that's basically the four methods I've got to try and fix it. If you've got any other ideas, pop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and check out these other videos I've got on the screen.